For this game, the hot and humid conditions were taking its toll on the players. But through fluid, clinical, passing rugby, Canterbury find the gaps and the Tri-Fest begins. Canterbury show why they are a world-class team and easily defeat their Malaysian counterparts 29 points to 7. Canterbury defeat the Borneo Eagles 29 points to 7. The two teams met in the pool stages, with Canterbury scraping through 7-5. Cobra were leading 5-0 with one minute to go. But a charge down from a drop goal attempt by Cobra led to a converted try by Canterbury to win them the game. For this game, Duncan Robertson told his players to play their own game and strategy. But Canterbury started the game playing smarter, defensive, attacking rugby, which put them in a comfortable lead at half-time. Cobra tried and tried, but Canterbury built their Cobra 10 foundations on strong, solid defense and gave the Cobra players limited scoring opportunities. With the game slowly slipping out of Cobra's hands, the Malaysian boys gave it everything in the second half and finished with the last goal of the game. Canterbury finished the final, winning the game and the tournament 29 points to 12. New Zealand rugby has something to rejoice about and the Malaysians can feel very proud on how far they've come, not only for their club, but for their country as well. champion, you are HSBC Cobra 10 champion. A message to the Malaysian public about rugby and the HSBC Cobra 10. Oh, just thanks very much for your support and it's a wonderful tournament and uh, hopefully we get invited back again and, uh, next year, but I'll oh, just take my hat off to the Malaysian public for coming out here and, and, and supporting all the teams, eh? Fantastic. Well, you've got a title to defend, so you better come back next year. For sure, mate. For sure. Okay.